Was geht ab, Alien Savages, and welcome to another I have the lighter sharing round. It's my turn. So, I'm feeling if it's going so up and down. Like, I'm feeling better, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm feeling better. Oh yeah, it's gonna keep going, get better. In a way, like, I feel more my grounded. Uh, like in my body so more grounded more here not what i call like too awake multidimensional like well, it's like more from my physical point of view less from my higher mind's f point of view however you want to call it but then it's just um whoop, like the night was really tough tonight really tough i was like oh fuck or, like i thought this is over thought this is over because overall yesterday I again showing up doing the job had a lot of emotional releases and and I allow it now it just comes out everywhere I'm in the gym on the treadmill and re-listening to my podcast and I'm, I'm, I'm crying with myself in the sauna I'm crying in the restaurant I'm crying 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 so today I feel really icky and sick in my body I have a strong headache so I I kind of really don't want to cry in this podcast because it's so much and I need a break like I said it in the last episode my <laughs> crying muscles are not trained at all I'm kind of the person that hardly ever cried because yeah my blockage was accessing my emotions but now that my heart space is so open it's just um it's just there <coughs> so yeah i feel really not so good in my body but in a in a weird way i actually like it because yeah where do i feel the pain where do i feel the headache the throat of smoking like 15 cigarettes yesterday i feel it in my body so I like that. I actually like it. Because like right now I take whatever it takes to come back. If it's pain and um then I I take that as long as I'm coming back in my body. So yeah, yesterday was the day I smoked the most cigarettes in my life. I never really smoked at all, like never. Like I tried a couple cigarettes as a kid and that's it. And then I listened to my mom. <laughs> which was great to not smoke. But now, also many people say, like, you don't need cigarettes, you just need rooting vegetables. And I'm like, you don't know how far I am. You fucking have no idea. Please shut the fuck up. Please. Like, if you're not helping, then just, like, just send love. Like, I'm really on the edge of, like, uh, psychosis shock, leaving this timeline not being aware anymore and I'm I took healthy lifestyle choices w too far and like raising my vibration I'm became such an addict to raise my vibration more, 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 more and I didn't allow my body to catch up didn't allow myself to actually acknowledge that I have a big shadow a big childhood trauma I talked in the last podcast about so I'm not gonna say the th same things again. If you wanna know like the whole story, then watch the last episodes. And now, like I, I went so far that oh, it's on the edge, and now I, I allow my body to catch up. But I'm really like I think many people don't understand because they ha like how can they? If I would watch that and if I wouldn't experience what I do right now, I, I would be like, how can you eat fish? You're a hypocrite. I, yeah, I never thought I'm going to be an ex-vegan. Like, never. Because I'm like, there is no reason. But there was one thing I, I wasn't seeing, which is this being too awake for my body. Mm, yeah. So, I'm... Um, yeah. I don't, I don't plan on buying cigarettes again today. I already like, ugh, my throat hurts. But let's see. Let's see how the day goes. Oh. 
they really helped me yesterday. Brittany also helped me a lot yesterday. We actually spent a lot of time and I don't want to tell the story of us reconnecting. I want to leave that to her because she's way better in telling stories. And also I feel like this is her story to tell because I was the one hurting her and I fucked up, you know, and I'm like, now I'm feeling this. And it's not that I she just takes me back or whatever and also this is not like still not harmonious, it's just we really love each other. And also it's just not working right now for a romantic relationship. And the biggest part is that I just like really was playing with her. I wasn't fully here. I was in my la la land and like left her behind and wanted to. I'm addicted. I want to keep growing. And this, uh, <coughs> yeah, makes me really uh, full of regrets. And uh, I really want to stay present with that, that I will never hurt someone like that again. And yeah, when I say I cry yesterday a lot, it's like all the things because. Everything that I haven't faced my entire life, it's now all, it's all coming. It's my family, how I like made it so hard for them to love me by being so untouchable. And they just like wanted to love me. And so many friends that I like left on this way as a growth chunky and just we're building such a secure connection and then I just wasn't there anymore. <coughs> Stuff like that. And it's it's a lot. Let's take a deep breath. Fully exhale. <sighs> I'm so grateful that Brittany also allowed me tonight to sleep at the collective in my middle room where I used to make the podcast, you know, the, the small room. And it was really helpful. Sleeping there with my cat, Shadu. It was so much more grounding than here. Like this place is really on the one side grounded because it's so in nature, on the other side it's really... Uh, portal, high vibrational place, however you want to call it. So I'm really grateful I could sleep in the collective, but the night wasn't so good. And I don't know why, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I, I just, like, I wake up in the night, but, like, I wake up in my dreams, like, lucid, and I see myself from above sleeping, and like I need a break, I need a break. I'm constantly awake. Like my physical body falls asleep and where do you think I go? I wanna get unconscious. I wanna stay in my physical body and like, oh, passing out, where did I go? But what happens is my physical body falls asleep and I'm there and I'm not yet equipped to be my higher self. So then I'm like creating, I like wrap these energetic things around my body to be more dense, to be more grounded. But I was doing it. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to disconnect a little more from my higher self because I'm not ready for this job. I want to be more my physical self. I get it that we're like merging this, that this is this awakening. But I want to do it more slow because it feels fucking gross in my body and fucking scary because I'm so on the edge of losing it, really dropping unconscious and I'm afraid to do something stupid, you know, like these movies like Shutter Island or M Moon Knight from Marvel. I think a lot about those and this is a fear of mine 
to just be unconscious and then get conscious and I've I've been in an, an accident or something. And I can see from a higher level that I, I'm I'm close to actually creating something like that because I'm I'm so helpless that I, I, I need a break. But I don't want this break, you know, I don't wanna like be in the hospital again and have an injury or like a clinical psychosis and be locked up in a room. I I wanna stay s s quote unquote strong enough where I don't need that experience. And this is what I mean by really being on the edge. And I'm just quote unquote waiting to get more in my body, more grounded, to make a grounded enough decision on like what's best, like leaving the island, actually clinicalizing myself these things but I'm still not in a in a place where I can make a grounded enough decision and it's actually really challenging for me to read all your comments because um, there's so much stuff attached to it so I, I really invite you to not really tell me what to do please 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 I, I know I need like I only can know and I'm getting there to make the best decision for me and I know I need to do it and please don't get in my head by telling me what to do if it is like attached with like your fears or something please if you have some good pointers and say them in a nice way amazing I really appreciate it but I just get a lot of messages in this vibration you need to do this and like mm. This is uh, this is really challenging for me. So many people telling me what to do, and like powerful people, like powerful people, where I also have a lot of respect for them. And then when they tell me what to do, I I really like doubt myself. But then I can feel in my heart of hearts what they're saying right now is not the best decision for me. So the best actually is when you just like share your stories that i open here again the space this is a sharing round the most help me when you share what you're going through and just sending me love and appreciation like i i wasn't so excited to make this podcast here but then i, I just got a video message on instagram and this guy he said He's going through like the same what I'm going through and that my podcast are like the only thing that makes him keep through. It's like the highlight of his day. And I was like, if I, if I help, like, because I'm doing this for myself, like these podcasts, like I'm doing them for myself. I'm rewatching them to like hold myself accountable. I'm, I'm showing up. And by knowing I help others with that, this like makes me excited to keep sharing. And also, I want to hold you accountable that I share so vulnerably, so raw. Why don't you do the same? Like, really fucking open up. Like, in the YouTube comments, like, you can have a fake profile. No one knows who you are. I'm going to read it all. I said in the last podcast, I'm addicted to it. I'm, I'm trying sometimes to not read the comments, but I'm going to read them. Because it also feels like it's uh, crowning me. Uh, I want to speak more about what crowned me the last day. So w I also enforced structures. I have so much appreciation for structure again. Every, every, everything is on point. As you might know, I love building healthy structures. And over the last many months, I let go of so much structure. And I'm a little too much in the flow that I cannot hold it yet. No, no, no. I went too far. I'm not a dolphin yet. It's great for me to actually have my phone, have a pinned note where I have like my daily checklist. So right now it's recording the podcast in the morning, editing and uploading it, going to the gym, on the treadmill, listening to my podcast, publishing it, 
and then working out, stretching, whatever feels good. Like today I feel super low, so um, probably you're gonna just, I don't know, stretch, but I like mm, feel my body, feel my body, feel my body, listening to music, like German rap. Stay connected to my emotions. Don't escape again quickly with my head and my multidimensionalness. No, 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 no. Stay present, stay present. Smile at people, connect to other souls in the moment, stay here. And then steaming and ice bath couple rounds sitting at the fire deep breath so this I have on my checklist like when I was in the army getting the job done I'm, and I'm taking it seriously now and I I would love if you keep holding me accountable and then the third thing on my checklist so podcast gym and something 3D like Brittany she's going on a trip soon in the north of Thailand and I was like, hey, if you have any 3D things I could do for you, it's not just like you would help me with that. It's not just I'm helping you. You would actually help me with that. Because I'm now living a single life, having money, like no family. There is not much to, to do. I already like outsourced a little too much that there is nothing to do. So I'm like going to repair Britney's scooter. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, even though my teeth seem fine, going to the dentist. Today I see um, my favorite healer on the island having an appointment with her. And then, like, yeah, I was asking for Brittany to, like, make me a list of things I can do in the collective, just 3D things. So every day I do at least a solid 3D thing. Calling O2, like my German data provider, even though I kind of already like know what's up, I just, it crowns me to be on the phone with them and getting it confirmed, double checking, all these things. Like I am, um, and now I'm like getting a little too founded that I'm OCDing. If you don't know what OCD is, that you're like my scooter, I turn it off, but I check it at least twice. Like I walk a little, I walk back and check, did I really turn my scooter off? And sometimes even three times. But I need to do this right now so I feel like I'm in control because otherwise I'm losing it. I need to feel, hey, my physical mind, I'm in control. Seeing it too much constantly from my higher point of view, I don't feel like I'm having control over the suit again, this body. I need to re reclaim it. So OCDing a little for me is great. Double checking things. Doing one thing after another. Sometimes, yes, multitasking to distract myself. Because I'm, I, uh, I'm also like a little too here. So I'm like eating ice cream and watching something. I'm watching right now the movie Thor, Love and Thunder. I watched it twice in the theater and I fucking love this movie. Oh my God. I love Marvel so much. I mean, I mean some of the movies I love, some of them are like not so much. But they have so many... Uh, amazing woke movies and yeah maybe watching woke movies right now is not the best but it's uh, this movie is just because I I already know it so well it's like my comfort I need uh, I need a lot of comfort right now so what else I ate fish again yesterday fish sushi with Brittany I actually see cigarettes as such a nice thing also. Of course, it's toxic. It's a number one carcinogen, a cancer-causing substance. It's poison. I mean, that's a bit harsh. I also see like the blend, like nicotine itself has good properties. I don't try to sound scientific here at all. I just don't like to be this extreme. Like, this is good, this is bad. I'm just like, it's always this fucking balance. Balance is so hard. <laughs> because if you're fully balanced, it's also like it leads to enlightenment. And I, I kind of don't want to be a quote unquote enlightened too fast. I want to like stretch it out in a way where I can have fun and make it cool and enjoy and also be a little extreme and a rebel, a rule breaker, a stuntman. Because otherwise, it's so boring. 
but yeah, if you're too out of balance, it sucks. And I got too out of balance with my addiction of raising my vibration. Whoa. So, uh, what I wanted to say about cigarettes is, you know, when you share a cigarette, when like I'm sitting there with, with Brittany and we're like sharing a cigarette, it's like, what a nice permission slip to be conscious with someone, like present, doing something also and just creating a moment. Like these are the moments, you know? So, I'm kind of calling in <laughs> healthy cigarettes. <laughs> like, I find taking supplements so boring. Like, I take my omega-3, vitamin B12, um, multi-nutrient, uh, and I just, like, put them in my mouth and swallow them with water. Like, how boring. Getting these powerful nutrients in my body in such a boring way. I would laugh that we, like, shift in a reality where we have cigarettes, and I can smoke, like, three cigarettes per day, and they cover my nutrients. Smoke them up at 12. So yeah, this would be really cool. Because <laughs> I actually really like the, the the beingness of smoking. Like I'm sitting on my scooter and I'm smoking. Um, so yeah, but this, I don't want to advertise smoking. <laughs> but yeah, I'm also done with like all these disclaimers, all this shit. I, I, I do whatever you want to do. I'm just sharing about my experience. I'm lost right now. I fully admit it. I don't hold anything back. Check my Instagram bio. I wrote it. I hit rock bottom. And it's so humbling. Oh, let's take a deep breath. Oh, speaking about humbling, this is mm, a big, big, big challenge for me right now. I really struggle with my ego. He wants to come back. Because the last days, right after ayahuasca, I was like self-loathing, if that is the word, like putting myself down. Which was healthy for me to like really kill this nasty spiritual ego I've built. So nasty. I'm so disgusted. Bah. And to like kill it, it was good for me to be in like self-hatred, self-loathing, however you want to call it, for a little bit. And like calling myself this pathetic rat. But now it's not authentic anymore because I'm not. I'm just like, then it's another, it's another ego to be in the victim role. And I just love myself. And I do have a lot of power. And uh, again, like we all have a lot of power. I just like see the power I have. And this is so tricky for me because I see the power I have. And of course, this is me. So this power, other people don't have so much like because otherwise it would be me and then now i like so see other people's power and appreciate it and like really get that we're all equals we're all these rats but we're not pathetic we're beautiful rats we're beautiful whatever but we're like all having different powers which makes us a hundred percent equal <clears throat> but yeah because I, I i feel my power and i see other people don't have it it's it's really challenging to not then again like think like oh I'm I'm somehow better I'm somehow superior it's it's and then if I if I stay like too humble my ego rebels so I'm really struggling right now with what it actually means to have a healthy ego so like yesterday I I realized oh I have to and then I went to the gym again listening to German rap and just training and dancing and rah and giving this part of me space and this was so needed because then i could chill but otherwise it would be uncomfortable i would like be cocky to other people probably it just would come out i like i'm not i, I cannot deny it deny it there, there needs to be an outlet and this is like yeah this balance of healthy ego so what also helped me crown was taking creatine again. The last two days I took creatine. If you don't know, I have stopped t taking creatine for a year now. And for me, it felt better. I felt like uh, it made me chubby. I like my face now way more. 
but it helps me to crown. So I keep taking creatine until I'm like back and I don't care if I now get chubby again. I know people say like, oh, you only store the water retention, like creatine makes you hold on to more water inside your muscles. This is what the studies say. But my experience is I get chubby because I feel like like here I have really strong jaw muscles, I feel like. And they are muscles, so I store water there and then I have like this round face. I mean, look at my old vlogs. And yeah, there was this period, I made a podcast about it, a German one, where I supplemented testosterone and then I got super watery, chubby. My face was, I didn't like it. This is a different period. It was like 2022. But besides that, my face was always rounder than now. And then I think like once I stopped creatine, it went away. So I don't know the correlation. Let's see now how it goes. But I don't care about getting chubby right now at all. <laughs> I just want to come back. Also, my taste buds are so shit right now. Uh, like yesterday and this morning, I ate watermelon, which I usually love. And it tasted like nothing. Plain cardboard because I'm eating so much junk food, so much highly processed ice cream, snicker bars, stuff like that, a lot. So <laughs> this is normal that our taste buds adjust to whatever we're eating, and then healthy foods don't taste like much anymore. And I, I know that, and I'm, I know that I, the, the important thing to know is I know that this is just temporary, and I went a little too far, so I need to like, balance that with another extreme and then as soon as I'm more balanced again I will cut that shit out and I'm already so excited like if, if it would be up to me I would be a fruitarian I would only eat ice cream and mango and watermelon like this is my happy place this feels the best but it's it makes me too ungrounded I'm flying away like I said in the other podcast for me the muscles is not so much about the aesthetic I mean, I'm lying here. It's it's a both. It's definitely both. But now, because if you're not feeling good, everything else doesn't matter. Like, feeling good in your body is the most important thing. Otherwise, anything else is like shit. Like, on ayahuasca, I was begging for reincarnation because it was so painful. I don't... Like, what's the point of being here, existing, if it's painful? Then you want to be somewhere else in existence where it's feeling good. Because otherwise, you have the most aesthetic body or whatever, all the followers, you're feeling like shit. It, 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 who cares? Ah. So yes, I love looking aesthetic. I love having muscles. No shame about that. I love flexing my muscles. I love having a pump. I love all of that. A lot, actually. I'm waking up in the morning, I'm going in the bathroom, I'm looking at myself and I'm, I'm flexing in the mirror. But feeling good comes first. And that's why right now I, I, I train more because this helps me to, like the creatine, more mass on me, more water retention, more denseness to be more my body, be more here physical in the flesh. So let's take a deep breath. So yeah, struggling with my ego. Do I have the answers? Fucking no. I don't. I don't. So yeah, that's me. I think I feel pretty complete. I don't know about today. I feel like shit. So... But I'm still like, I'm going to go to the gym and maybe get some aspirin for my headache. And this might also help me. Like, I, yeah, I think many, uh, you don't realize how far I went. Like yesterday I was in the gym and I was in this um, cold plunge. And it was like a nice conversation going on. And this guy asked like, is there chlorine in it? Because maybe we complain and then they don't put chlorine anymore. And once he said there's chlorine in it, I, I drank the water like just a good sip. And then I opened up to them all. 
that how I'm feeling so uncrowned, taking healthy lifestyle choices too far, because they were all about getting healthier. And I was like, I get that. <laughs> I've been there too. But now I, I need to like put toxins in my body to come back. Like it's, it, I'm really nasty right now. Like I'm also touching dirty things to just absorb bacterias. Like I'm on the urinal and I'm just like judging the outsides and I can just, I know, it sounds so gross. <laughs> <coughs> so I was drinking some of the chloride water and then just listening to them having this conversation about nutrition was so crowning for me and I'm like, this is one aspect already I'm so proud of myself that the old Ferdi, I'm like so annoyed by him. He would like, I know everything better. You're talking about nutrition, ba 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 ba. And then I just vomit people full of my, what I think is the answer. And, and there I sipped it and I actually listened to them. And I was like, wow, yeah, everything you're saying makes a lot of sense. Everything everyone is saying makes a lot of sense. And now I'm humble enough to actually listen. And like all the nutrition stuff, I'm like, I quote unquote already knew because this was like part of my career, studying nutrition and I burned out. But it like so grounded me to talk about this and let them express their journey and like, oh yeah, this makes sense. Oh yeah, you're figuring that out, good job. But yeah, what I saw is how amazing it is to start the conversation so raw and vulnerable. Like I was sharing, I took ayahuasca, I'm losing it, I'm close to psychotic shock, I'm smoking cigarettes, I'm like poisoning my body a little to come back. I was vegan for over 10 years and now I'm eating meat and eggs and dairy. And they were all like looking at me. And like, is this guy for real? And then, okay, he is, he's sharing authentically. And then they open up so much I was like this is a good conversation so I, I also encourage you just like once you start sharing vulnerably it takes away like really vulnerable like no filters whatsoever it takes away all the fucking shame and everyone can like oh my god I'm not alone <laughs> I'm fucking not alone because we're all like we're all keeping it together Keeping it together, going out in the world. Yep, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing. <sighs> so I, I encourage you to also just like do that. Share so raw. <clears throat> All right. I, I feel like I wanted to like talk about something else where I started, but I lost my point. So I think I'm going to end it here. Just every day I really want to not think about what I'm saying, like my old fairy, like I have this topic and I channel about it and I come back to this point and I make it so like, I was always talking from this high point of view and I was staying there and I'm so sick of that. I cannot hear this anymore. It makes me cringe and it is fucking boring. I wanna sit here presently and actually enjoy this because this is my therapy, this is like my soul or my, my, my inner child rather, asking for help and like sharing what's going on inside of me, trying to make sense of what I'm experiencing. And I was so long in this box of, I'm this happy fly kid and I saw people suffering and I was like, what's wrong with you? Oh, why don't you get it? And I have so much compassion for people because this place when you yeah, like this shadow of like, whoa, and it's so good that, that we're like all in this. And yeah, it fucking sucks. Like it sucks. It's like this, this bubble I build that is like happy and whatever, and then it's just popping and you're in this void in this dark room and you're alone and you know what's going on forever and now I now I get it too now I'm here too humbling myself seeing all of you now and yeah I want to say I'm here 
and I I I, I want to get through this. Like, what is through? I mean, just like stable, stable enough, so I can show up for others that are going through what I'm going through right now. Because you all, my friends, and many of you, you're like literally saving my life. Like literally. Otherwise I wouldn't be here anymore. And I wanna be that for others. Because this saved me. And this and this is yeah, I don't wanna now get emotional again and like cry because I'm like I need a break. I need a break. But this is this is also another trap I, I see that yesterday smoking so many cigarettes and like putting many chemicals in my body I became a little bit numb like it's um, I need to like take it a little slow and not the other extreme that like yeah it takes a while to fully come back in my body but if I'm like numbing myself it's it's just another extreme where I also where I also don't feel I can be too high and disassociate and not feel or I can like numb myself that's why like many people are like rappers are addicted to tilidine and opioids because it's the other extreme of not feeling but no it's the so yeah that's why today i want to like clean up a little like cutting the cigarettes probably i'm gonna tell you probably tomorrow how this went and <coughs> yeah just like healthy lifestyle choices in the most dense and crowded way it's like you know you can do breath work in a way where you like <laughs> like <laughs> It makes you more fly. And you can like, oh, like deep, lower belly breath and it grounds you more. So with healthy lifestyle choices, there that's why they're actually so great because you can, in both ways, go in a healthy way. But yeah, <coughs> I also have this big rebel in me that wants to like just come out and do stupid things. It's, I, uh, yeah. And if I suppress him or her, it will do something really stupid. Like, <coughs> when I was on Ayahuasca, I was like totally getting Van Gogh who cut off his ear. I totally get it why he did it. I wanted to do something stupid like that. But I, I don't want to do something actually that stupid, so I just need to do... It's all about safe spaces, you know? Like, I'm, don't worry about me. I'm not anywhere near right now to like self-harm <coughs> but like driving on the scooter listening to German rap while smoking a cigarette and driving a little reckless is, wha is what's feeling really good right now and I feel like it's what I need so yeah, I'm like, if you have more safe spaces where I can be reckless, let me know. Okay, that's it. And now, <coughs> thanks for listening. Here's the lighter. Now I give it to you. And I would love if you and in the comments down below now share how you feel in right now. Don't overthink, just keep it raw, real, raw and authentic. Thanks for listening. Until next time, peace out.